Kathy, I'm glad I caught you. Did you beat school today? Oh, I've got a terrible sore throat. Oh, have you? No. Well, that's what I told the school when I was going to Mr. Clark! Oh, I need a break. That's why I'm returning these now. I won't be around for a few days. I booked that cottage on the coast. Today? You're quick off the mark, aren't you? Oh, you seemed unsure about coming, and I thought, what the hell, I'm happy with my own company. I'm just going shopping now for a load of treats. Mm, like what? Oh, you know, bubbly, uh, massive bars of chocolate. Mm. I can see you're weakening. Yes, I am. But I'd feel awful leaving everybody in the lurch at the diner. OK, no pressure. But you know you want to. <laughs> Look, um, I've got to get organised, so uh, I'll maybe catch you later. Kid, don't. When's he going to come and get the rest of his stuff? Joke, I promise. Only joke. I really like Joseph. Do you? Of course I do. For one thing, I never have to set my alarm in the morning. He's all right, is Joseph. But he must get that from Rachel. I could learn a few things from Chris. Certainly knows how to press your buttons. So when are you going to ask him to come back, then? Do Claudia's night off. You'll come crawling to me first. Oh, I love it when you're hard. Shut up. A thousand quid says you'll be the first to crack. Hmm. Joe, is it okay going into school? Oh, any chance of a cup of tea? Yeah, I'd love one. Oh, oh don't worry about unpacking the shopping. Oh, thanks, Chris. You can do it later. Joseph told the teacher had moved. Again. We'll be moving back soon. What? Look, I know it's a bit more work for you, Claudia. What am I? A mule. It's not good for Joseph, either. Oh, stop being so girly. He loves it. It's all one big game to him. He doesn't have to carry the bags. No, Zoe will miss us far too much. Once she's learned a lesson, we'll all go back to home farm. Isn't this a bit daft? It's a tape thing. You'll get used to it. I give to you, and you give to me, love forever true. Oh, <laughs> takes you back, don't you, Jay? Lullabies for babies. It takes me right back. You still can't sing, either of you. And don't be damaging her lugs like you damaged mine. Your mother has the voice of an angel. Oh, I have fallen one, maybe. I see that diesel's still out the back. I want it shifted, Zach. Do you sing much yourself, Lisa? <laughs> no, but she snores like a pig, don't you, Lisa? <laughs> Thank you very much. No, I, I won't be in nasty. Oh, women prefer honestly, Butch. Though it's best in the long run. She's checking up on you now. Uh, why have you come back? Oh, not welcoming me own home now. For this, me and voice book, if that's all right with you. She's looking a bit peaky this morning. Aye, we gave her some of that baby paracetamol stuff. She's been quiet as a lamb since. Well, I'm sorry if she's been disturbing you. I gave it to Alicia. It wasn't Nelly. Diesel, Zack. That's her first baby and her last. She's obviously in the change with them mood swings. What's the change? Oh, personally, it's one I wouldn't know. All my hormones are still intact. <laughs> Legalised slavery. You've never been this down on marriage before. You're just about married anyway. Yeah, but I could always walk away. No strings if the fancy took me. No. It's gonna break Seth's heart, but seems I'm happiest living over the brook. What are you paying her for, eh? I panicked when Robert said he wanted to get a job here. I'm not surprised. It's getting too complicated. No, it isn't. Oh, Sarah, please don't back out now. Look, come over to the office this afternoon. I'll get rid of Scott. I don't know. We do have other customers, you know. <laughs> my fault, Cathy. I, uh, <clears throat> try to get a few quid knocked off my rent, but she won't budge. I'll see you later. Bye, Sarah. I was due a break. Fine, let's just say you've had it, then. That's not fair. Cathy, love. The lady on table two wants to compliment you on your coffee kisses. I said you'd have a word. What do you reckon, then? It's pink. Yo, 
You can give some to Angie for her birthday. She'll be over the moon. It's pink diesel, you thicket. Yeah, well, you can't be choosy when you're on the rob. Pink diesel's for agricultural vehicles. You can't even use it in lorries. Who's to know? Me, you burk. It's my company. Try Jack something. Hey, we had a deal. Yeah, must have been crackers. You said you wanted some cheap diesel. I want a Ferrari and all. Doesn't look like I'll get either. Um, I'll just take this to table six. What's she telling me for? Well, I think she knows she's completely in the wrong about you being a shoulder for Jack. Really? Mm. I've made a some sense, and I think she's trying to say sorry without actually saying sorry. Well, you know how proud some folk are. I hate being at odds with Sarah. No, Graham thinks I should have a few days away. Let the dust settle. Well, even teachers can be right sometimes. <laughs> Could you cope? Cope? Being the element, me. Hey, and I'd even give Sarah a few mucky jobs if that'd suit you. <laughs> well, what are you hanging around for? Especially if Clark is paying. Mmm. <laughs> I know Lisa had hand in it. But you've got to admit, your dad produces a good-looking kid. Thanks. Look at our Ben. God rest him. He was thicker, Grant, yeah. But he were handsome swine. Aye. And then there's Tina, the Gina Lollibrigida of the Dales. Who? I know. One look at our little Sam's face. The devil had changed his ways. Could melt ice, that face could. You thought I wasn't going to mention you? I didn't. Yes, you did. That's my tragedy. You were always cast aside. If you knew it, why didn't you do anything about it? <laughs> it's hard raising four kids, son. Especially when three of them bring home decent swag and the other only ever brings the police. Yeah, but Sam were rubbish at shoplifting and all. Aye. But Ben too came under his wing. Why Sam? Not me. I suppose there's only so many wings to go round. Hey, but look at you now. When I left here, you were nope but a young lummox with puppy fat. <laughs> now I'm just an old one. Oh, son, you're all big and round and fully formed. And I couldn't be prouder of you. Thanks. Whatever's happened in the past, you were the rightful heir to the Dingle throne. I really have missed you, man. What are we going to say? We've got to keep at him, Marvin. You've got to pick and pick until he lets something slip. He will. Going somewhere, are you? Back to school as soon as I get this done. You shouldn't be allowed anywhere near kids. <sighs> I'm sure Year 10 would agree with you. History's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. You don't give a toss, do you? Is there anything else? I mean, I'm on the odd duty in 20 minutes. That's the point. We've got no hope, Clark. There are solicitors who specialise in cases like this. They don't just know criminal law, they know all the loopholes. Civil cases have a very high success rate. You've bent the law more than anyone else in the village. If justice was that simple, you'd be in prison by now. <laughs> we'll wipe that smirk off your face. Leave him, Eric. Just leave him. Yeah, I'm not worth the bother. they want? Oh, just seeing if I needed any help. Did you get some lunch? On the way, yeah. Sooner we go, sooner we get there. Are you still dead set on getting wed? Oh, I'm afraid marriage is so far off my agenda. I haven't even got an agenda anymore. Oh, that's after me all night. Seth, you've just accepted a marriage proposal. 
I think you'd better have a chat with Betty. She'd be gutted. You might be surprised. Oh, I'm surprised she didn't kill me. I've been dumped. You're supposed to be with me. Look, it's a choice between drumming up some trade from this or the doll queue. Never get another lass on a gyro, Scott. What are you talking about business for? Lena's finished with me. For good. So do some work for a change. Take your mind off your problems. Thanks. Thanks a lot. I've told you, I'm sick of wet nursing you through every little crisis. Now, I'm back to the office. I don't want to see you for the rest of the day. All right? I'm supposed to be the slime ball. I bet you're loving this, aren't you? What are you on about? Lynn dumping me. Not even that could cheer me up. No. I'd like nothing better than to sit and laugh at Scott Windsor getting chucked. I've got knots in my stomach all the time. Man, we have to remain. Oh. It's no good. I, I'm going to go around to Kathy's, going to pin her down until she listens. And then who looked like the maniac? I don't care. I'm... All right, all right, why don't I tell the family? We'll go around to Graham's. We can put him in hospital for a couple of months. It'll be a start. <laughs> oh, hi, Betty. Um, how's Kathy? Right as now. It's the last time I saw her. No, no. Betty! Betty! That no, won't Betty worry. No, 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 don't be silly. <laughs> it's just wind. In. Out. In. What happened to that stoppy cow wasn't going to take any crud? The entire village is going to know that Chris has moved out. If we go down to the wall back tonight, they are all going to be asking questions. So what? They'll all be on your side. What more do you want? You know everyone loathes Chris. <sighs> Don't say that. Except you, of course. He treats you like muck and you still stick up for him. I think I'd better go before this gets nasty. What time is it? Time you got a job. <laughs> Do you think you're funny? We can have a Barney without it being the end of the world. That's something I'm yet to learn. Pick up some wine for tonight. I told you before, I don't like wine. <sighs> Who said you were getting any? What's that with Zoe? She's been really worried and upset about you. Mm, I feel awful now. Hello, Sam. Oh! Oh, Eric. <laughs> you frightened me to death. It's an unexpected pleasure. Can to buy something of you? Um, uh, no, no, actually, um, no, I, no, I haven't. Is, uh, Scott in? It's not to be too good to be true. He's out. Richie's up there. Oh, oh, well, that's all right. Uh, I can see Richie at home. That's fine, thanks. And actually, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm glad you popped by. Uh, do you mind if we have a chat? Um, well, the kids will be home from school. Um, the thing is, I don't know how to put this home. I'm rather worried about Cathy. Yeah, well, uh, we're all worried about Cathy. Really? Well, don't you know? We had a fight the other day. Ah, uh, look, th th this is a bit difficult. Um, I think she could be in danger. Well, that's not surprising, interfering in other people's lives. Look, Eric, if you want to talk about Cathy, talk to someone else. Ah, uh, but Sarah, I'm sorry. Uh, I have to go, Eric. <laughs> Come on in, Lisa. Oh, yes. You sit yourself down next to Thingy. Emily. Of course you are, love. You're that skinny, you keep slipping my mind. She means well. Right. What are we having, then? I could eat an horse. <laughs> Funny you should say that. Oh, Mum, you haven't. <laughs> well, it's corn dog stew, anyway. Yeah. Did you know this was their favourite, Lisa? Oh, well, you do now. Corn beef and spud stew. Now, I haven't had that since... Our 20th what? wedding anniversary. <laughs> uh, a bit of fruit full day, puppy. Yes. But I can see from them barrels outside that you haven't. I'm trying. Oh, you can say that again. No, no, let's not have a ding-dong at the tea table. Tea table? When I moved in, they practically ate off the floor. I'm sure they were only trying to...
to make you feel at home. Look! Look, my mum's gone to a lot of trouble for this. She's opened the tins and everything. I'll go and have a sit down. Come on, Lisa. Let's not have another row. It's not good for the burn. She won't be here forever. One of us won't. I'm sorry. It's off, isn't it? Is it? You just walked away today. You could have come in. You could have spoken to me. You must have been banging on the window, Sarah. Shh. Jack's upstairs with the kids. It doesn't really matter anymore. Yes, of course it does. Look, I couldn't come up to the office because Eric Pollard nabbed me. He had me pinned up against a wall questioning me about Cathy. Look at him. It's not funny. He was watching me as I walked away. I couldn't come up. I thought you were backing out. No, no, Richie, not here. I can't help it. Yes, you can. It isn't right. Sarah, we're having an affair. None of it's right. It doesn't matter where we are. I'm really not happy about this. Yes, you are. Admit it. It's the happiest you've been in years. Oh, we can't stop now. Not unless one of us leaves the village. He'll always be there, bubbling away. Jack could feel as betrayed by you thinking about it as he would by you doing it. That's enough. For now. I rang her and I told her to get herself over here. Does she know he's in? Well, I told her he was at the malt shovel. He's been here since this morning, Trisha. Any longer and we'll have to carry his liver home in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> now, where were we? Oh, yes, girlfriends. What do you mean? Well, you know, type, make a model, how many? Oh, hasn't he got lovely skin, Bernice? You've got really lovely skin, you have. Peaches and cream. <laughs> You're joking. I have to shave three times a day. So does Trisha. You should see our plug hole. I have to sleep with her, you know. Really? Yeah, you want to see her, propped up on ten pillars so her curlers don't pierce her brain. And you think you've got problems at home. Trisha, we never give out the secrets of the boudoir to a man. I can call you a man, can't I, Mark? Oh, listen to her, trying to get you on her side because she knows you like me best. No, I don't. Mm, that's not very nice, is it? No, I, I mean, I really do like you both. Oh, too late now, Mark. The damage is done. Oh, Mark, you were doing so well and all. Hey, are you still here? You said you'd give me shifts for next week. I did, an hour and a half ago. And have you never heard of a phone? Look, just give me ten more minutes. Look, I really think I've upset Trisha. They're playing with you, you wazzock. Now get yourself home, your face is all red. You look like you might burst. Oh, just ignore him. We love you, really. Hey, Betty, your fella will be dead if you don't sort this out. Oh, Betty, he's got a firm pair of thighs. <laughs> hey, put him down. He might be a creaky old fool, but he's my creaky old fool. <laughs> we'll leave you to it, eh? Seth, you and me need to have a few words. We do, lad. Right, well, you go first. Uh, no, it's before beauty, except it's the other way around. Well... This may destroy your dreams, Seth, but I value my single status too much, and I should never have asked you to get wet. Are you calling it off? Right off. Hey, Betty, do you know I've been having doubts myself? You are? But, uh, uh, only about your happiness. How can you play the wanton Jezebel if you're wed? Go on, you sexy little tinker. Come on, get yourself home. <laughs> hey, hey, don't get your hopes up, mind. I've had a few. Come on, tiger. <laughs> yeah. Can I have a word, please, Betty? It's important. I'm on a promise here, and at my time of life, there's now more important than that. Can I have ten minutes, please, Bernice? Marlon, stop it. Stop getting in the way of true love. It'll keep.
That meal was great. And this will finish it off perfectly. <sighs> Ooh, on top of all that wine, do I dare? Mm, it's no use trying to resist. How do you feel? It's so quiet. I can hear my heart beating unless that's the drink. Now, I'm not relishing a five-mile hike to the nearest shop. You won't have to. I've got everything we need. You didn't answer my question. I feel like I've always been here. Like I could stay forever. It's heaven, Graham. Turn to Emmerdale tomorrow at 7. Next tonight, 30 minutes. Happy? Yes, I am. It's a really lovely spot. I remember the first time I walked up Hell Valley. It was misty all the way up. But when I got to the top, the, the clouds lifted and I could see this wonderland spread out below me. Just for a couple of minutes and then it was gone again. It was magical. Oh, I can imagine. It was one of those moments, you know, even while it's happening, you remember for the rest of your life. Yeah. And you have. That's how I feel now, with you. It's perfect, don't you think? Oh, I'm really glad I came, Graham. A couple of days' breaks, just what I need. But it's more than that. Let you feel it. No, I'm not with you. I want to switch off and relax. That's why we came, remember? There you go. Seen Kathy this morning? She's gone out. No, no, she's gone away for the weekend with Graham. What? Uh, she can't have it. It's, that's impossible. Oh, I think it's a relief. I'm looking forward to the peace and quiet. Uh, oh, where've they gone? She didn't say. Uh, but, but he's a teacher. He should be at school. Well, maybe he's going to join her later. I don't know. Kathy's gone though. She went yesterday. Oh no. Eric. Makes you feel small, doesn't it, looking out to sea? You're being very poetic today, aren't you? You have that effect on me. <laughs> oh, flatterer. It's true. You've given my life a whole new purpose. I think that's a bit of an exaggeration. It isn't. After Rachel died, I, I never thought I'd love again. You've shown me that I can. Don't invest too much in our relationship, Graham. I don't want you to get hurt. I won't get hurt. Quite the opposite. I'm going to be really happy with you. I've told you, I'm not ready to make that kind of commitment. Look out there. There's so much to see, so many places to go. Living where we do, it's, it's easy to believe the world ends two miles down the Connelton Road. This isn't about leaving the village, is it? If you find the right person, it doesn't matter where you live, because you've got each other. I've told you before, Graham, I'm not prepared to discuss this. We've had such a good time since we got here, haven't we? We don't need anybody else. But that's rubbish. 
come away with me. I know I can make you happy. And what you can do for me, you don't realize the difference you can make. Why can't you accept things the way they are? Why do you spoil things? Kathy? Kathy, I'm sorry. Marlon! Shouldn't you be on your way to Leeds? You've been in that solicitor in half an hour. Never mind about that. We've been taken for a ride. What about it? It's Graham. We have got him worried. We have? He's gone off with Cathy. You're joking. I knew we would get into him and never thought he'd go this far. So what, 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 what are we going to do? Oh, we have to find them somehow. You're right. I've got to see what he's going to be doing. My trouble is I let my feelings run away with me. I end up saying and doing things I regret. I want you to show some consideration for the way I feel. I don't think that's too much to ask. Believe me, Cathy, I think about you all the time. And what's best for you? <laughs> you don't know what's best for me. I do. And if you do what I say, then I promise you, you'll have a wonderful future. <laughs> With you? Yes. And if I don't do as you say... History will repeat itself. What does that mean? The village is full of bad memories for both of us. I've lost Rachel, you've lost Dave, Biff, Alice. I mean, there's so much unhappiness there. You admitted that yourself not so long ago. You thought about selling up and leaving. I decided to stay, Graham. It's where I belong. You're frightened of change. I can understand that. You want to cling on to old certainties, but... Please, listen to what I'm saying, Cathy, for your own sake. I can make my own decisions, Graham. I don't need you to make them for me. Where are you going? <sighs> I'm going to lie down, OK? I'm tired. Cathy, I'm not trying to railroad you. I only talked about leaving because I care about you so much. But I if it upsets you, then I won't mention it again, I promise. You said uh, it booked a cottage for the weekend. Where? Oh, I did she uh, leave a contact number? No. Why well, should she? She'll be back in a couple of days. What's it all about, anyway? We need to get in touch with her. Ah, oh, something happened. Uh, nothing. Uh, nothing for you to worry about. Thanks. How many holiday cottages are there in Yorkshire? That's if they're in Yorkshire. We need to get in a mill cottage. There might be a clue to where they've gone. Have you got a key? <laughs> Call yourself a dingle. Kathy, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I've been worrying about what I said. I, I don't want to spoil things between us. What are you doing? I've decided to go home. This isn't working out. We've got different expectations of the weekend. I think it's best if I leave. You weren't going to leave without saying goodbye? No, of course not. I was going to ask you to run me to the station. This is my fault, isn't it? I've upset you. But I, I didn't mean to. I, I say things about us and our future because I love you so much. I, I don't want to drive you away. That, that's the last thing I want. Graham, you're not driving. I've done some thinking, that's all. We both need a bit of space. You stay here, relax. We'll talk in a couple of days when you get back to the village. No, Cathy, please, don't go. If there are things we have to say, then let's say them now. Please. Yes. Now, you're looking for a brochure, I'm looking for any information written on a pan by the family. Are you it? No, I'll keep watch out here so you can scarf if anyone turns off. Just get it, we'll find it. Come on. Half an hour ago on the clifftop when we were talking, it, everything was going so well. We were so happy. Why can't we just rewind the clock? It doesn't work like that, Graham. If I stay, there's going to be a big cloud over the rest of the weekend. No, there isn't. We can just enjoy being together. Do it another time. Tell you what, you needn't give me a lift. I'll call a taxi. What are you doing? Don't be alarmed. 
I don't want you to go just yet. There are things I need to say, and I want you to listen to me. Please. That's not too much to ask, is it? Martin Clark. I'm trying to get in touch with my brother, Graham Clark. He's in one of your cottages, but I don't know which one. Yeah, I know. It's really urgent. I don't think you realise how important it is for me to leave the village. I do. I can understand why you want to move on, but it's not so easy for me. Look, I've tried to settle, Cathy. I really have. I, I, I've got myself involved in village events and help people. And no one disputes that. You're well liked. Everybody likes you. So you say. But there are some people, friends of yours, making my life very difficult. Saying vile things about me. Who? Eric Pollard, for one. Oh, you know Eric. He hasn't got a good word to say about anybody. And there's Marlon. He's turned against me as well. Well, they're being overprotective, that's all. It's because of Biff. They think it's your fault that he left. They can say what they like about Biff. It was never going to work out between you two. That doesn't touch me in the slightest. Well, what exactly have they been saying? They blame me for Rachel's death. Have you any idea how hurtful that is? That's ridiculous. They seem to have some kind of vendetta against me. Well, that's a crazy idea. You loved Rachel. They think I pushed her off Burview Crag. They're hounding me, trying to make me crack and admit I did it. So you see, that's why I have to leave the village. Ah, Sergeant Reynolds, am I glad to see you? You surprised me. Actually, it's, uh, it's not what you're thinking. I'm trying to get in touch with Graham Clark. And shouldn't you be at Hot and Comp? Come on, Eric. We're out of here. Oh, hello. Right. I want some answers. What's going on? Say there was a fire on the back door. Hi there. No, he, he must be out. Right. Of course he's out. He's at work teaching my kids apart from anything else. Uh, no, you, you don't understand. You see, if he's not in, that means he's gone away with Cathy. And if she's alone with him, then... She's in danger. Not this again. I've told you before about making wild accusations. The man is a murderer. Why don't we just go, Eric? Let's leave Sergeant Ralph to get on with the job. Hold on a minute. I haven't finished with you yet. You haven't done it wrong. I'm warning you. Leave Graham Clark alone or I'll do you for harassment. Yes, Sergeant. Point taken. Come on. Got the address. I can see now why you want to leave the village if Marlon and Eric are saying those things about you. So. You go. We can still see each other. No, you don't understand. You have to come with me. Why? I need you. I need someone to love me. That's all I've ever wanted. And every time I think I've found the right person, they let me down. And poor Rachel didn't let you down. Yes, she did. I asked her to marry me, just like I'm asking you. I pleaded with her, but she refused. She said she still loved me, but she can't have. She must have been lying to me. Just a minute, Graham. When did this happen? When did she refuse? On Burview Crag, of course. I, I, I begged her to do as I asked, but she wouldn't. So you see, she can't have loved me. She did. She thought the world of you. No! She wanted to leave me, and I couldn't let that happen. But you're not like Rachel, are you? You love me. You really do love me. And you're not going anywhere. <laughs> 